this is a horse a horse feed bag. Oh, these are cute. Okay, what do I do now? I gotta wash them. Wash the bag. Mine. This is like a regular feed bag. Okay, so we turn it inside out and yeah, wash and it. Take out both sides, wash it, let it dry. Oh, the top and the bottom. Okay. And then she said you have to pick where you want your picture to be. Like you want the chicken centered. So then you can cut, cut your handle top. off the top. Okay. And then okay. Your chicken will be centered. You have to have at least three inches to do your bottom. To sew it? To sew it. Okay. And then if you want your bag 15 inches long, then you have to add three, three more to the top. Okay. Okay. So 21 inches total. From the bottom. For the top, the bottom, and the back. And then the remaining piece It can be my handles. handles. So I do five. Okay. Okay. Five inches is two handles? Yes. Okay, that's the five inch mark. You mark that? Yes. You're going to cut handles. that. So the handles are going to be what? Two, two. 2.5 each yeah if you don't have pinking shears you might want to invest in them it just keeps them from raveling you're going to turn it under anyway so it really doesn't matter you can just re use regular scissors if you want to. okay now oh okay rip that seam apart fold it in half oh and then you cut it Two handles, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, make your handles. Fold it in half. <laughs> okay, then you take both sides. Fold them under, okay. Yeah. very precise. I think that's the right thing to do. And that's your that's your handle. That's your handle. Okay. And you just pin it like this together. This is the bottom of the bag. Okay. Okay. You're gonna go two and a half inches. Two and a half inch square. Okay. Two and a half inches. I have eight inch, still the bottom. This is the hardest part. <laughs> it looks to be the hardest part. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's shut, huh? You sew that one. That was what makes the bag flatten out at the bottom. Huh? Yeah, and you can do it. You can cut them uh, two inches if you want them smaller. So the bag's not as big on the bottom. It's the corner. Nice. Very nice. And you have a flat bottom. That's the bottom. Now you fold this down or what? At least, you can do an inch. Double fold it or you just fold it once? No, double fold it. Double folding down. And double fold, yeah. Pinning like an and pinning, which makes a really long bag. So if you want a shorter bag, you just fold it down more, Nanny. Yeah. You just right. cut more off. If you want to cut down below the five inches that you're going to use for the handle, you can actually cut six inches off and then cut an inch off to make your handle. Say you want a smaller bag, but you want the chicken to be centered, then it's just 21 inches. You come up. Chicken in the center, of yeah. 21 inches, and then come up a little more from the bottom and whatnot. Yeah. Cute. Like you just cut some off the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. You can have just the chicken. And make it a shorter make it a bag. 15 inch or 18 inch bag. Yes. Right, this is going to be shorter because it's a smaller it's bag. It's a smaller bag. Okay. Right, now you're going to sew down the top edge, fold it down twice. So 
sewn down. Now you're sewing down the handle. Figure out where your folds are. See where, where it comes in? Okay. You want to put your handle like right next to it. I like to start over here. Keep it straight. trickery you just you gotta did. flip it over oh. like that <laughs> and sew it on the same side mm -hmm. i would have sewed it to the other side do the same thing no, your handle's got to be on one side okay i wouldn't have done it that way i'm glad that i stayed for that last step <laughs> but on the same side it's not across right i see that now <laughs> so there's the finished product and then she'll put the handle on the other side the and it'll be a two-handled bag